high school, I went to an all girls Catholic high school, which I absolutely loved. It was amazing. I have nothing bad to say about my Catholic high school at all. It was around junior year that I was in my religion class and a lot of the things that were being taught to me didn't make sense and it seemed like kind of hypocritical and it made me start to question things. There were also just so many rules to me that it just seemed unattainable to go to heaven. For example, in the Catholic church, they teach that you need to go to reconciliation, which is going to a priest and getting your sins forgiven by the priest. I asked the teacher, so if I go to confession, and then I die, then I'm gonna go to heaven because I was clean, right? She goes, yeah. And I said, okay, so what if I'm clean and then I sin and then I die before I get the chance to go back to confession? Am I going to hell? And she said, yes. How am I supposed to ever get to heaven? How does anyone get to heaven? Like, you'd have to be so lucky that you were able to go to confession in order to go to heaven. And that just, was like the thing that put me over the edge where I was like, okay, no. This whole God thing, I, I don't believe in it anymore. I'm, I'm done. And so I stopped believing in God because I was like, that's absolutely ridiculous. I continued to pray because that's just what I was used to. I prayed every single night and I just prayed something like, God, I don't feel anything for you. I don't believe in you, but if you are real, these are the things that I want to pray for. And also, please just reveal yourself to me. Please show yourself to me because I don't feel anything for you. And if you're real, I want to feel something for you, but I just don't. Then my freshman year of college was the absolute darkest time in my life. Um, and it all stems from a very toxic, very abusive relationship that I was in. Um, which I could talk more about in another video if someone is going through something like that I would love to To talk about that and just just know that you're not alone in this and that it 100% gets better I'm in such a good place now when you're in an abusive Relationship like that. It's hard to get out of the cycle because you're already so deep in it before you realize That it's an abusive relationship. I stayed in it but then he obviously, he cheated on me all the time. So I would, I left and I tried to be, I tried to cope with it in the healthiest way possible. And obviously in that relationship, I lost a lot of friends. I lost, it, it was a really dark time where, and I, I had moved away from home. I really had nobody. That is kind of how I turned to God. Once I stepped back from it and I healed from it, I realized that that was God working in my life and if I hadn't then maybe I wouldn't know God today after the relationship I turned to him even more and I sought him out even more I started going to church again which I went to Catholic Church because that's all I knew and then I was invited to a Bible study by one of my classmates and so I was like absolutely I'll go to this Bible study and in the car we were talking about the differences between Catholicism and his Christian denomination which was I believe it was assembly of God and I asked him like do you have reconciliation do you got do you guys have confession and he's like no why would I need to talk to someone to get my sins forgiven like I just talked directly to God and my whole mind my whole mind just went Pfft. talk directly to God what I questioned things and I was like so basically, Catholics believe, like recalling what my teacher said, Catholics believe that if you don't get your sins con like forgiven from a priest, that you're going to hell. But if everybody else in the world doesn't believe that and doesn't go to, rec to reconciliation, then that means everybody else is going to hell. All of these other Christians that believe something different and they don't go to reconciliation they're all going to hell that's what catholicism is teaching me so then i was like you know what i don't consider myself catholic anymore i don't tie myself to any religion anymore and i solely started to seek a relationship with god i started reading the bible myself then i got into 
another relationship i would obviously love talking about it and just talking about the the realizations i was coming to and and all like this journey that i was taking and he would shut me down every time i talked about it and anytime i would say god this or jesus this or whatever he would always say the universe the universe and like cut me off and just just not even let me talk so then eventually um things got more serious and i just stopped so then i lost it through that whole relationship another toxic relationship took another year and a half of my life um but i finally ended things and near the end i was like i'm pursuing this like full force i'm pursuing this full force i want to be so strong in my faith that i never ever lose it to a guy again and then i learned that there are actually non-denominational christian churches that just don't even tie themselves to a religion is just solely people that love jesus i looked up non-denominational church i found a church in my area so i started going there and it was amazing it was so relaxed it was so relatable that it was just people taking the bible taking the context within the bible taking god's words and putting that into our daily life it was not about re religion at all and it was all about having your own relationship it was so non-judgmental it was so non-critical that clicked for me and i was like huh I would consider myself Christian. When you are on this journey, when you are a follower of God, the devil's gonna come for you because he doesn't want you to reach your potential. But he'll feed you lies and give you things like anxiety or whatever. And if that's something that I still struggle with, but I know that it's from the devil. I know that that doesn't come from God. So in those moments, I lean on God more than ever. And I'm, I'm learning more about how to do that. I had been struggling with anxiety really bad one day. I prayed to God about it at night and I was like, God, I give this up to you. I can't do this. Please take this anxiety. And the next day I woke up and I remembered that there was a church across the street from my gym. So I looked it up. I didn't even know what kind of church it was. I didn't know if it was Christian or anything, but I looked it up and it was a Christian church. And I looked at their page and it looked really nice and lo and behold they actually had service in like 40 minutes so i was like oh my gosh i have to go i get up change and i go and i walk in there and i was like oh this is so overwhelming uh i'm never coming back here again but i went up sat and then i realized that it was amazing the worship leader had added another worship song and said i feel like there are people in here that need to give something up to god and she like said this whole prayer she sang another song about surrendering whatever it is you're carrying to god i literally started tearing up in this church and i was so amazed because i knew that it was god speaking to me through her all those things that i went through were the transition and i feel like once i went to that church it was like this is what all of that was for and now i'm finally understanding my place my purpose and i'm understanding what i need to be sharing with people and and the type of life that i want to live